Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 17th. So we're just gonna see what comes up. You know, I, I have I have been sitting here for a little bit. So what I what I see, what I saw, uh, I saw the King of Cups. I saw the Queen of Pentacles. I saw five five five. I saw Temperance, I saw the Page of Cups, I saw, oh God, let me start talking. Okay, so first of all, the first, very first thing I saw was the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is a very feeling king, you know, somebody who is looking for romance, looking for love. So we could have somebody that is looking, oh, the very first card I saw before the King of Cups was the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is socializing, uh, flirting, having fun, mingling, you know, um, communication perhaps. And uh, with the Page of Cups, somebody may be receiving a message, a heartfelt message, a welcome message, 555, an unexpected message, okay? So expect the unexpected. You may receive some sort. And I saw the Eight of Wands as well. So I saw a lot, a lot. So I basically do the reading on all the cards that I saw, put it that way. Anyhow, um, somebody is probably going to be receiving a message that they did not expect from somebody. Um, doesn't matter what sign they are. Whoever this person is, this person is ready for a relationship. It's like they're looking for love. And it, they could be sending some sort of flirtatious, playful messages with that Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands, okay? This person is, is wanting to move forward. They're wanting to get moving in their relationship arena. And so they may, you know, open up their the communication. I did see the throat chakra uh, thing as well. So throat, as I speak, I speak. So if, you know, somebody is probably going to be receiving some sort of uh, surprising in communication from somebody that they didn't expect. It could, um, you know, happen at night. It could be face-to-face -face communication. It could happen during the day. It could happen while you're out anywhere, out and about. You could just, you know, start talking to somebody and something, you know, happens. I don't know. Um, but it's a very social day. It's a very, uh, it's like a friendly day. You know, you could start a new relationship with somebody. Um, it seems like it's a very playful energy. Um, one of these people is looking for a relationship and I think they're, they're, they have their eyes on somebody who is very stable, very secure, somebody that is very devoted and disciplined and hardworking and down to earth. The person that they are looking at is very down to earth and is, uh, knows their worth, knows their value. This person is quiet, um, you know, not very loud. I don't think either of these people are very obnoxious, and I think that that, that this person sees an, an opportunity to, you know, build something perhaps. They're definitely attracted, um, so I don't know what this is or who this is for. It doesn't matter what signs we are dealing with. We have, we have one person that is looking for a relationship, and I think they're about to basically chase after it, okay? It's like the chase is on. Let's get started. And I think it's unexpected because I did see the lover's card as well. I saw the lover's card and I saw the justice card. So, and I saw those right back to back, those two. The lover's is unexpected. It's not who you think it is. So keep that in mind. All you guys are, that are watching this are probably thinking, oh, it's this. No, I don't think it is. It's not who you think it is. That's what the lover's card suggests. It's like this angel brings somebody into your life and, you, and you're looking at this angel. You're having this conversation with Cupid or whoever it is. This isn't who I thought it was. Well, that's what I'm talking about here. This isn't who you thought it was. So expect the unexpected. Um, justice, perhaps. It's, it's, it's you know, I, and, and the justice and lovers are both about a decision, a choice. So a decision, so you may have to make a decision. Are you ready? I mean, a choice that you weren't prepared to make. Okay. You weren't prepared to make this choice. All of a sudden this person has entered your life. There's some sort of connection and you know, now you've got to make a decision. You want to, you want to move forward with this, that he wants or not. You want to keep communicating with this person or not. Um, justice is making a decision. Um, 
What do we got for the 17th? The hangman. Oh, and the temperance was testing the waters. When I saw the temperance card, uh, when I saw that, I thought, and I would, didn't, you know, it wasn't through the cards, um, but it was. It's hard to explain. Um, the temperance card is testing the waters, like somebody's going to dip their feet in, see, you know, get the, get their feet wet. <laughs> anyway, hangman, this is, this is, Needing to see something from a new perspective. Somebody has been sacrificing themselves. They have been stalling. They have been stalling. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay. Um, stubborn. We have a very stubborn individual. May have been trying to prove a point to other people or to themselves or whatever the case may be. I feel like we have somebody that has been going through some sort of enlightenment and they've been struggling, struggling to change their ways, struggling to open up, struggling to see things differently. Um, they've been resisting change, but I think that we have somebody here that is sick of hanging around, you know, sick of just not going anywhere. Um, and with the devil reverse, this is wanting to take back control, you know. So we may have somebody here that is breaking free from their old mentality, okay? Um, and they're ready to open up. They are ready, ready to open up. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with Pisces. Could be dealing with anybody, okay? Um, what do we got for the seventeenth? What do we got for the seventeenth? I know I got a lot of emails to be answered. I'm going to get to those soon, like maybe tonight, probably. Thank you for all those people who booked the Skype readings. I still have more slot, a lot more slots, obviously. And, you know, it's ongoing. So if you want one, the link is in my community se section. Uh, what do we got for the 17th? There we go. Ooh, Page of Swords. Now somebody is, is very curious this is a very curious energy. We got somebody here that is sees something and is, is ready to communicate. So this is a very curious. I feel like somebody is going to receive a message. And there and you know, this message may make you feel conflicted because you didn't expect it. Okay. Um, so yeah, we have somebody that here that is very curious about something. Ooh, King of Pentacles reversed. I saw this as well. But this was earlier. It wasn't part of this. Huh. I saw this one too. As I was speaking to you guys, I saw the Nine of Wands reversed. Um... Somebody is afraid. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's afraid. They're afraid to take a risk. They have been afraid. They have been afraid to take a risk. Okay. Um, but they they're definitely see something. They they're see something that they're very attracted to. They, they see somebody that really strikes their fancy. So I feel like we have somebody here that is very stubborn. This person is stubborn. This person is very set in their ways. They're afraid of what they, you know, if they have enough to offer, they may feel like they don't have enough to offer. I think maybe maybe that's what they they have why they have been holding back. They've been stalling or or not coming forward. Maybe they're not as financially secure as they would like to be, and maybe that's why they haven't opened up or something like that. Maybe maybe Well, they obviously are, have fears, okay? They have fears. These are marrying each other. We have somebody that has some sort of fears, maybe fears of being rejected, you know? Um, I feel like we, we, well, I see that this is a change for the better. Somebody is about to, you know, make a move, okay? Because the wheel spins. 
Um, this is saying goodbye, saying goodbye to something that is emotionally unfulfilling, going after something um, And I think this is, you know, what I just saw in my, why I paused was fortunate. I, this is like a fortunate accident, but it's not really an accident because when I, mean, I saw the fortune, it's like somebody is headed towards something more rewarding. Okay. And so now they're ready. Now they're ready to leave behind their pain or, or their insecurities. This is insecurity and this is insecurity. So somebody has been holding on to their own insecurities, but it's like now they're ready to battle. They're ready to deal with it. They're ready to communicate. I think we have somebody here that is changing their course. They're changing their thoughts too. Um, here, they've been avoiding this challenge. Somebody, I mean, we're going to get to this in a minute. Somebody has been avoiding, avoiding, you know, taking a risk after whatever it is that they are attracted to because of their fears. It's like they're very insecure. Somebody is very, very insecure. They may be afraid that, you know, they'll be rejected. Um, you got to face those fears. You do got to face those fears. That five of pentacles is being left behind. It's being ghosted, um, being left, left Somebody is afraid of being left behind or being afraid of uh, being afraid of, you know, I think it's getting rejected. That's really what I feel like it is. The Knight of Cups reversed is, is, this is a, uh, underneath magician being lied to about a relationship you know not being no relationship because this is a no and this is a relationship no romance we have somebody here that has been like blocking themselves from a relationship because of the past hurts because of their own freaking insecurities they feel like they don't have enough to offer. We definitely feel like, I mean, I have somebody here that really is curious. They want to communicate and I think they're going to, but I feel like they're very, very fearful that, you know, what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not good enough? That kind of thing, you know, but this is about confidence. This is about, um, self-esteem, uh, taking action this is an opportunity to expand this is an opportunity for growth this is you know an opportunity to express yourself passionately i mean the queen of wands this is a force to be reckoned with she can be a little intimidating so i feel like we somebody may be intimidated by this you know very attractive person who is very you know Maybe she's very sexy. She's very confident. She's very self-sufficient. She's very, um, you know, she's the boss and she owns it. She owns it. So I feel like we have somebody here that wants to communicate, but they're very uh, intimidated by this person. So I feel like today is a day of... You know, I don't know. I, I really feel like we have somebody here that is scared shitless, but they want to. They really, 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 really want to. They're afraid of being taken advantage of as well because this woman, she doesn't, she is, she doesn't back down. Okay, this woman doesn't back down. She doesn't, she doesn't, she is empowered. She's not that woman who stays at home and lets or man, okay, at this point it could be anybody. She's not that, or when saying she, because that's what's on the card, so please don't get your panties in a bunch, okay? So this person, um, oh God, now I lost it. I hate it when that happens. She's, she doesn't let herself in the upright get disempowered by another person. You can't disempower her. 
You know what I mean? She doesn't let people walk on her. Okay? That's why it's intimidating. I mean, you have to come to this person in the upright. Correct. And I feel like this person knows that. You can't. You aren't going to be walking on this one. You know? So, and that's, that's how she portrays herself. So, um... Oh, 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 that makes sense. The Emperor Reverse. He knows. Oh, my God. Yes, this person knows that, that he will not be able to control. You cannot control. It's 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 not about control in this situation. I mean, whoo. Wow. So, this we have somebody here that is used to being in control. Used to being the boss. And, and I feel like this person may have experienced a loss having that mentality that, you know, I'm the boss, I'm the boss. And, you know, it doesn't work that way. It takes two in a relationship. There are no bosses in a relationship. So I feel like maybe we have somebody here that is changing their... ideals they're changing their uh themselves and and they're closing us they're closing a cycle and they're ready to begin a new one with a new i don't know if it's a state of mind or what page of wands to reverse two of wands reversed You know, oh my God, somebody may be receiving news, it's not good news, that Well, maybe they are going to get rejected. Somebody may get rejected. Somebody may get rejected by this person who will not be stomped on. This person will not be walked on. This person will not be disempowered. Somebody may be... <sighs> making a heavy decision to reject somebody that tried to control them and disempower them Maybe they've been on thin ice. Now, this, I know this reading is completely changing gears, but I have to go with what I see. Somebody may have been on thin ice, and with that justice card I saw, somebody decides to make a decision to uh, take their power in their own hands and put a stop to this control. There could be some sort of, you know, rejection that makes somebody very angry. Somebody spot spouts off at the mouth and they get blocked. Somebody leaves. Oh my God. Changing, changing the destination, changing the course. Somebody may be deciding to leave a relationship. They've been lied to, they've been manipulated, they've been controlled. I mean, this doesn't look good. Somebody is, this is not good news. So somebody may try to communicate with somebody that doesn't want to have anything to do with them. Um, <clears> this <throat> is going to be a long one. Obviously, this is for a bunch of different people. This person is strong. Very, 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 very strong. She's ruled by the Strength card, the Temperance card, and the Emperor card. She has a lot of strength. And she's not going to be taken advantage of. 
Oh my God. So I feel like we have somebody here that is, is pro and that's why I kept seeing rejection, rejection, rejection. I think we have somebody here that has been watching. They want to have a relationship and maybe they want somebody to take care of them. I don't know. And they try to be playful. They try to flirt, whatever the case is. They think they're going to change things. And, you know, this person is too wise. So, just just expect the unexpected. Um, whew. There could be some anger. There could be some sort of... Bad news, okay? Bad news. This isn't going anywhere. You left me. You hurt me. Don't come near me. That kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. Good luck.